Today's word vitamin is on that word hard. And I often think one of the hardest things in life to do and to be consistently is gentle. And in today's word vitamin, the word hard I use in the context, obviously under the banner of emotional fitness, which is the work that I do. But I'm talking about hard emotional work. And I often use metaphors because I'm a storyteller and a writer and because the internal emotional world is invisible. Sometimes if I create a little picture or a metaphor or an analogy, it can help put it into context and visually see it. So in today's word vitamin, if you get a chance to read it, I've used the word hard in context of laundry and doing our emotional washing. And we all know those hard stains to remove when we're doing our you know, everyday laundry, take extra care and attention. Now for some people, when they're doing their emotional laundry and they come to me and, and we're, we're looking at sorting colors from, from darks, from um, difficult stains and, and looking at the emotional realm and the work that we need to do. The hard stuff that's got stains that have been there for a long time is always the area that takes more attention. And if we have a look at some of our emotional childhood stains, they have been there for a long time. And for some people when it comes to doing their emotional laundry, they, they've got an approach of dump it just leave it in the, in the heart's hallway, someone else can stumble over it and pick it up, or deny it, just shut it behind a door and pretend it doesn't exist. Now the denial and dump approach at midterm, at midlife kind of has a use by date because midlife is either a crisis or a celebration and we generally um, have to, sorry the couch just moved there, it sounded like a fart, it wasn't me, promise. <laughs> Attention span of a flea. Okay. Emotional laundry, when it comes to processing it at midlife, it can either feel like a crisis or a celebration. It's a celebration. Doing our laundry when we've got the tools for the jobs and great stain removers is, is quite satisfying. When you actually do process your dirty laundry, sort it, wash it, dry it in the sunshine, fold it with love and put it away, it's a really satisfying ritual in daily life and emotional laundry can be the same sort of thing when you get the formula to sort it out when something goes wrong or something stains the heart like guilt or grief or shame or any difficult emotion that's been there a long time if we know how to sort it what to do with it once we've processed it and removed it we can then find that the whole downloading of emotional laundry is not something that we need to dump on somebody else, deny it needs to be done, or get anxious about because we've got a formula. So where do you go to do your emotional laundry? Do you dump it, deny it, or let it build up? Um, or do you have an emotional laundry room? And for me, that's, that's um, my morning meditation. And if I need a bit of hand of a hand with some uh, ingrained grain stains, I go to my therapist, which is my wise elder. So what are you doing? If you've got some stuff that's hard to remove, that is um, blocking your capacity to enjoy all of who you are, are you getting help, or are you trying to just chuck it out and and um, You've got to be careful with, with stuff that is is difficult, that we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Some people just block off that part of their heart and then they remain emotionally unavailable. Anyway, there's some food for thought there. I hope it's been helpful. I'm sorry about the wiggly camera today, but um, yeah, I was just trying a new approach. And sorry about the couch moving. Mwah, lots of love. Bye.